Okay. Well, I'll call this meeting of the Board of Directors of Community Television of Santa Cruz County to order. It is November 28, 2022 at 5.35 p.m. Um, we don't have a secretary. Keith, would you mind calling the roll here? Sure. Uh, Chair Lanier? I am here. Uh, Vice Chair Maziars? Here. I'm here. Joe Hall? Here. Uh, Director O'Driscoll? Here. Director Warren? Here. And it says that Director Rand is on the phone with Karen trying to figure out how to get in. Okay. okay I'm going to send her the public link too. Okay. So Becca is sending her the public link and then and I can promote it. I can promote talking. her like I did, Tom. I don't know why she didn't get that. I looked. <laughs> and I'll note for the record that uh, Director Shaw had informed us that she won't be able to attend tonight. And we have a visitor and hopefully. Uh, soon to be a uh, new board member, Tom Mannheim, in attendance. Um, item two, oral communications. Any person may address the board during its oral communications period. All oral communications must be directed to an item not listed on today's consent or regular agenda and must be within the jurisdiction of the board. Um, I see no members of the public attending. No oral communications. Um, number three, consideration of late additions to the agenda, additions and deletions to the consent and regular agendas. Seeing none, I will move on to the consent agenda. Um, we have item number four, approve the meeting agenda. Number five, approve board meeting minutes of October 24, 2022. And number six, except the October 2022 financial reports. Any questions, comments, discussion on those? If none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. I move the consent agenda. All right, moved by Director O'Driscoll. I'll second. And Vice Chair Maziar second. We can just have a voice vote. All in favor, aye. 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 Passed and so ordered. Okay, let's move on to the regular agenda. We have item number seven, election of board members and officers. Um, we'll start with the board members. We've got uh, myself, Director Shaw, uh, Director Hall, whose terms are um, up and are um, running again, I presume. Um, and we have a uh, director or prospective director Mannheim, previous director who um, is nominated for a position. Any other um, nominations or discussion there? Uh, Joe. Uh, I actually have a funny thing. I didn't know till Keith pointed it out. I actually have an indeterminate term. Uh, so I don't need to be reelected. I just sit on the board until the city withdraws me or I resign. So okay. no need to act on me. I know you all were thrilled to do that, but uh, <laughs> just for the record, and Larry was somewhat the same way, but he resigned. Right, and I haven't been able to get a hold of him to try to twist his arm to join us up again. Although I do have his direct contact information, but. And so. Okay. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, my term expires this time. Oh, yours, yours does as well? Yes. Okay. You want to keep going? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have, we'll substitute Director Gudger in there for Director Hall for, um, I'm not exactly sure of the procedure here, but um, it's sort of a, a slate of candidates of <clears throat> Director Gudger, myself, uh, Tom Mannheim, um, Director Shaw, and then Joe, as he's pointed out, is an indeterminate term. Um, Joe. I'll move that these uh, members that you nominated to be on the board um, be nominated for another term. Terrific. And I'll note that Director Rand has joined us. <clears throat> Greetings. Can I say something? Please do. 
this gets to be, and I know it's recorded, but this gets to be very annoying. I clicked on the link you sent for Google Meet. I clicked on that and it's- No, that's the I problem. Mean, that's what you sent me. No. Well, no. no, you get, um, we get a link from Zoom approximately an hour beforehand. Nope. Um, I don't know why you're not getting that. Um, we. Others have so every month we'll the have... same thing, and so I got something from you. Clicked on Google Meet, and there I'm sitting for for what? for 10, 11 minutes. I was exactly on time. Hurried home, and I'm you know done 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 with it. Now when... the Zoom link is above the Google Meet link. Anyway, uh, we, Becca, we do you have a? We have a motion on the floor. We're waiting for a second. Yeah, I'll so... be honored to second. Oh, sorry, did somebody beat me to it? I think Director Warren. Director Warren, I'll take his second first. <laughs> okay, it, under discussion, um, since Matilda raised this question, um, Becca, do you have a comment? Yes. Um, Google is a they're very aggressive marketer, and they just inc they always have a little thing on the side that says would you like a Google meet? And I've had that happen to other people. I send them a, an email with a link in it and they see this thing from Google and they click on it and go to some room, but it's not real. It's just Google saying, would you like to use it? They, so don't use the fancy Google link. Just go to the thing in the printed email. It happens a lot. Well, I did not get your Zoom link. I'm really sorry. And, you know, something has to be done because I can't do this every month. Rush, rush, rush home and then sit here for 10 minutes before I get in. By the way, this came from chair, chair at communitytv.org. Did just... you get the agenda? Well, that was the day before. The agenda has yes. the link in it. Well, the, the, the agenda has the public link, which I can yeah. promote you from. And right. uh, I do that all the time for Joe. <laughs> so the other the other link should come from Zoom. It comes from no reply at Zoom. No, I don't get it. I'm not. Well, I'm let's not, do this. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I know you, you're, what are we voting on? I may as well be kept up to date. Yeah, what's going on? <clears throat> okay, let's, let's um, solve one problem at a time. Um, Becca, let, why don't you double check your list after we elect um, directors tonight, we'll have a, a new list of emails of everyone that needs to get a Zoom link. And just make sure that that email, that list of emails is the one that we're working off of for Zoom. And Matilda's email will be one of those. I can then, do that. I, I checked on Matilda's email last time this happened and I, I actually erased her and put her back in again. Okay. So not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's her server or what, but um, unless I just have the wrong email address from Matilda, <laughs> could be that. Well, let's so, work uh, that out. Um, we'll look into okay, that. I'll, I'll right now on the floor, we that. have a motion to um, elect Director Gudger, myself, um, Director Shaw, and Tom Mannheim to the board of directors for the term beginning now really um uh, you know for four-year terms and we have a motion by director hall and a second by director warren any discussion comments okay i'll call the question um all those well let's have a, a roll call keith do you mind doing that okay uh, <laughs> i'm gonna take notes and do a roll call it's gonna be confusing uh chair okay i could do the roll call if you like um, I yes, I vote for the slate of candidates as um, nominated. Uh, Co-chair Maziars. An emphatic yes. Me, yes. Uh, Director Hall. Yes. Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Warren. Yes. Director Rand. Absolutely. All right. C welcome, Tom. Nice to have you back. Thanks. Now I can raise my hand and butt in whenever I want. Yes, you may. <laughs> Please. Before too. <laughs> and and when we let's chase down this Zoom thing, and we'll make sure that you're on the list now to get these. I forget when you went off um, a year ago if we were using this format or not, but 
Um, Director Hall. Yeah. I just want Matilda to know it has nothing to do with her. It happens to me all the time. Yours, it shouldn't. I looked at your email address here with Gmail. Cruzio somehow never gets through Zoom. I never get it. So I just log in on the public one and get promoted up. It's well, I think I think she's sending it to my MRAD at Community TV, although that's a Gmail account too. And um, and you always email, I think, to random Santa Cruz at gmail.com. Yeah, anyhow, whatever. I, it's nothing, it just happens to me all the time. So I know what you're talking about, but I don't even I don't even think about it anymore. I just know it'll go wrong. <laughs> so we'll have what we'll do is um, on the agendas, we all always have that public link. And as an alternative pathway, you can go to the public link and then get promoted to a panelist rather than an audience member. Um, okay, so that was board members. Um, and now we have officers. We have, um, I'd like to nominate Joe to continue as treasurer. Um, I'm seeking a candidate for secretary. Um, I nominate um, Matreya to continue as vice chair. And um, I'm hoping to continue as chair. I don't know if I can nominate myself or not, but that's sort of the slate that we have here. Um, any... I make the motion. <laughs> okay. Um, we still do need a, a secretary. So I'd, I've got candidates of Janice or Keith or Matilda or possibly Elizabeth, although I think it might be difficult for her because of her teaching that comes, it extends into the meeting, but we do need to firm that up. We do have a motion. Um, I don't have a second yet. Don't have a second. I'll second. Right. Um, motion by Director Rian, second by Director Hall for the slate of officers. Um, I don't think we need a roll call. Um, all those in favor, aye. 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 Okay. But Passed. Do yes. we have a secretary yet? We don't have a secretary. Okay. It's, it's still open. Um, I don't know if we want to rotate that or what, but we need, we do need a secretary. Yeah. Keith has been kind enough to fill in for us. I'll do it, but Matilda told me I can't. I told you you can't? Why did I say that? I said I'd volunteer to be secretary, but you said don't do it. Don't no. do that again. Let somebody else do it. How about you, Matilda? You know, I am so so busy with K squid, uh, changing donor management, signal expansion. Uh, you know, I'm on Mondays. I'm always at the station. I'm rushing back, so I, I'm going to pass for right now. I've okay. I've done plenty. I've been vice chair. I've been this. I've been that, and I'm still on the finance committee. But so, with your permission, I'm going to decline. Okay. Um, well, let's. I have my hands full at the friends. I just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can also handle that. Okay. Right now. I'm sorry. Well, for, for now, Keith, I'll thank you for um, filling in and, and doing that. And I'll, I'll try to recruit a secretary. Well, what about maybe if we're all in the same boat, maybe we should rotate it for a period of time. I mean, I'm, 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 you know, in cement until the end of June. Okay. Well, the so. the difficulty is that it's, you know, it's a matter of primarily, it's a matter of, of taking the minutes, which, you know, is a job and then writing them up. Um, there's some signing um, responsibilities, that sort of thing too, and some oh. responsibilities, but Keith. Yeah, the only other thing the secretary has to do is anything associated with the bank has to be signed by the secretary. Right to be an elected secretary, but without a change in officers, you're not going to be changing the signatories at the bank. So we're probably okay for now. Okay. Um, my my point for not having it rotate, I mean, that would be nice, but there's a certain amount of, of just practice in getting used to it and getting a, you know, a flow of, of handling the, the job. I think it's best to be done by one person rather than rotate. Yeah, I so. appreciate that. I'm just trying to solve the problem since right. we all see Duck at the moment. Okay. I'll, I'll keep doing it for the duration. All right. All right. Thank you. 
Um, now, let's see. Do we have? Um, do we still need to vote? Did we, I think. Oh. Did we vote on oh, that? Oh, we did I think, vote. Didn't I think we, we yes. did vote. Yeah, it was a. It was um, by acclamation. So, the board members and officers are set. Um, now we go on to number eight: appointments to committees. Um, and I'm I'm thinking that the committees are pretty much going to remain the same. Although I invite if um, others want to join, uh, say the finance committee or the governance committee, welcome to do so. Any comments, Matreo? Doesn't uh, committee still have to be less than a quorum though? Of so, if uh, okay, good point. So what's the quorum currently? Is it? Uh, the quorum, I think I have as we just added a member and we're missing one today. So, yeah, so I think let's so see, quorum would be five. I mean, four, you have to have four and not more and not five. Well, the quorum is five uh, right now with right. a new member. No, we um, are we are with two, four, six, eight, nine. Elizabeth nine. is out, right? So we have nine. So we can't well, have more than four. Well, no, but generally speaking, with a with a full not today's quorum, but with a full um, board, a quorum would now be six with the with the addition of Tom on the board, because we'll have 10 members. Um, no, nine. Nine. Is that right? OK. Yeah, nine. Becca's not on our board. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's nine. OK, so it, it's I'm quorum saying nine, but we can't have more than uh, yeah. half yeah. of the people right. on a committee. So, so four or fewer, people. four or fewer on a committee. Oh. Well, the one thing, uh, Tom has always been on the finance committee. He should be. Uh, yeah, so I don't know uh, how we do that because he's been coming anyhow. So, <laughs> I've been coming as a guest. I have not I, voted on anything. Oh, I could he consider, I wonder under Brown's Act, could he just come as a guest? Yeah. I don't yeah okay well then and, that's no, i don't no, think so not, no no not, he's, a, no, not, he's a board member. member cannot attend yeah, no 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 he's a board member but before but we have uh keith joe tom and me which is four mm -hmm. and that should be fine okay. but oh, you're on it too so then i'll just get off the chair is off. by definition on an all standing oh, committee oh, yeah. So then how about if I get off Thomas on there and then maybe I'll go on the governance committee or so? Okay. Sure. Yeah, that would be fine. And and uh, well, okay. I was going to say, Matilda, you could attend it as a guest, but you can't because <laughs> no, you're no. a member. So well, I'll that's fine. Well, I'll send you uh, uh, a copy of the minutes each time. Okay. So let's, let's just take the finance committee right now. We have um, nominated myself, Joe, Keith, and, and, Tom. and Tom. Yeah. If we get and, more members, then Matilda, if she wants to come back on, can come on or continue. Right. On. No, we, we can't have five people on the committee. Well, if we get more members, we'd increase oh, yeah. the, the yeah. quorum. Um, do we need to vote on this, or is it? I, I think these appointments. Yeah. Can I think be this made. is your appointment. Right. Yeah. This is my appointment. Okay. So I'm. I'll just, for the record, appoint um, finance committee chair uh, Joe Hall, myself, Tom Mannheim, and Keith Gudger. Okay. Good. Next committee. Um, so what else do we have? We have governance, governance. education. Um, are there any changes foreseen in any of those? Otherwise, I would I would say who's on governance right now? I think I am, but we haven't met. I I was at some point, but um, I don't know what's happened in the interim while. So According to the website, it's Maitreya, Joe, Tom, and Guy. I'm okay. still listed. Well, why don't I do this? Why don't I withdraw from that committee and Matilda can go on it and uh, uh, just do it that way? That sounds okay. good. Yeah. So, um, okay. So, as chair, I point, um, I'm on the standing committee. I'll appoint um, Tom, Matilda, and was it Keith? Matreya. Oh. Matreya, I beg your pardon. Okay. I'm so that's the governor, Tom. I'm, a, I'm Matilda. Myself, Matilda, and Matreya. Okay. Um, education committee, I believe, is Keith, David, and Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I would propose that that remains the same. And if, um, 
anybody else would like to join or um, withdraw? Sure, invite anybody else who wants to be on it. Okay. And what else we have there, Keith? I'm I'm not Equi looking equipment at equipment grant committee. Is that, well, is that a standing personnel, the standing committee? The only other standing committee is personnel, personnel. committee. Right now we have Maitreya, Matilda <clears throat> Rand, and Larry Laurent. Well, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Okay, that's personnel. And as a standing committee, am I a, m a member of that or no? Yes, I yes. am. I'll, Joe, I'll stand if you want me to, oh. I would suggest Janice on that because she's had quite a bit of experience in that over the years, way more than me. And uh, we, only, we only have a couple of employees, so it's kind of a happy <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm willing to do that. Okay. That. So let's recap. Um, personnel would be myself, Janice. Who else, Keith? Matilda and Matreya. Matilda and Matreya, okay, for personnel. Somebody else wants to take place. We have no, there can't grant. be anybody else. Four is the max. Okay, so and then the youth grant. Yeah. Who's on that? Me, Janice, yeah. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, and me. Okay. Maitreya, Janice, and Elizabeth. Okay. And then Becca as staff. Um, I would propose that we continue that. And what else? Then the others are, are more sort of ad hoc committees as things arise. And so I don't think we need to memorialize those here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, any um, comments, discussion, complaints? We good there? Great, thanks everybody for that. Um, I have, let's move on to item number nine, approval of the 2022 board calendar. I included a, a copy, I, I dummied up a copy, uh, a calendar and included that with the agenda packet. Um, double Is check my dates. 2023 calendar. 2023, I beg your pardon. Um, the copy is correct on the calendar. Um, Pretty much follows what we've done. I've I checked the dates, um, but if anybody sees anything amiss, let me know. No, it looks good to me at yeah. least. All right. And Keith, I'll try to get that posted. If we approve it, I'll try to get that posted up. I noticed we had the an old one on the on the website. I, I don't know if we had this year's or last year's, but I'll I could do that. I'm going to update the committees and the board. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Um, do we need a motion for that? Approve the calendar? Yeah. I'll move to okay. approve the calendar as presented in the packet. 2023 calendar. And seconded by, uh, proposed by um, Director Meisner, <laughs> seconded by Director Tom Mannheim. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Aye, Bobby. That's taken care of. Got a visitor. Yeah, so that's my that visitor. All right. <laughs> Mine was here too, and then he dog. took off. Oh, dogs um, love me. All right. <laughs> I don't know. What okay. Um, item number 10 executive director's report. Uh, Becca, <clears throat> you have the floor. Oh, thank you. Just as my dog interrupts me, I, <laughs> I'm on the list. Okay. So here we go. I got. Um, Okay, so I want to, as usual, uh, this is the report for October. So I'm going to start with revenue, like always. And um, in October, I'm sort of blinded by the light here. Um, in October, the co-working center earned ten thousand eight hundred eight dollars, and our target, uh, our monthly revenue target for the co-working center is eighty eight hundred thirteen, and uh, so we exceeded it this month, and we've exceeded that goal for uh, the past four months by at least $1,000. So that is a good thing. Um, overall, CTV is 2% ahead of its revenue projection for this point in time. And uh, moving on to paid services, uh, government meetings, we covered 19 live government meetings, including two remote meetings and one candidates forum. And we also facilitated five government webinars. 
and we documented an event, the Santa Cruz County Artist of the Year Awards at Cabrillo. Uh, under the rebuild category, we um, this is the rebuild of our television station. We are still waiting <laughs> for our our um, permit. It was pushed back and uh, was supposed to be here on the 11th of November, and, and now it has moved to December 2nd. So we should know some mm. uh, soon. Um, under equipment, the youth grant, Watsonville High School returned their granted gear in very good order with very few things missing, and those things were small things. So uh, they are very interested in another grant. The equipment grant committee scheduled a meeting to discuss their request. This is an October report, so that happened in October. Um, in November, we actually decided to go ahead and give them another grant. Uh, the County Office of Education and the California State Parks update, they, they, the project is on track. Teachers have um, given <clears throat> us some nice feedback on the equipment. Um, they've asked for lighter tripods for the younger students, as we kind of figured would happen. So um, in January, we're, we're issuing them 25 more Padcaster kits, and those will all have the lighter tripods. And uh, they have different cases, so the, the teachers themselves can, um, can work out getting the lighter versions, and they'll be easy to spot. Uh, the COE, uh, count, the county office is going to come and do a teacher training in our studio um, next month. So that should be exciting. That's always really fun. And um, the animation grant is uh, the, the um, Friends of the Library have new videos to share. And I'm going to play one for you now. Um, just a second. I have to do the share your screen. Can I give a little context first? Please do. Um, so we, we had a class for youth and Felton. Uh, we had seven students start. We ended with zero, Ooh. which is kind of sad. So we've got some new ideas I could talk about later. So what you have here are three short videos. One is a, a student worked really, really hard, but then didn't finish it. So you just see the very beginning. We had a drop-in student do the second one. It was a, a nine-year-old, so nine. thinking about lowering the age limit. And then the third one was a story the class put together, and it was so much fun, I made an animation for it. Um, so we'll see what you like. Uh, note the, uh, note the, um, the transport equipment at the very end of the video. Right. Take a look at it closely. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Make it full screen. I, yeah, something is, um, just a second. I, something's funny happening here. It's a bottom, there yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I hear up this very, 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 very boring water park. This is so very, so, 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 so boring. Arf, 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 arf. That purple ball, I'm gonna go check it out. JK. Best day of my life. I don't think I could do anything without this giant fun water park. All right, this is so fun. I don't know what I'd do without this giant fun water park. This is so, 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 Keith, was that the nine-year-old? Yep. Once wow. there was an enchanted wood with a flock of evil birds. One day a bird found a golden crystal. 
when all the other birds saw the crystal, they all calmed down. They didn't know that the crystal was put there by aliens. Let's take these birds home with us. Welcome to this edition of Nonprofit Spotlight. As you know, a nonprofit spotlight is a production of the Volunteer Advisory. Sorry, I can't escape. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> See you, Steve. Yeah, don't, don't feel too bad about the dropouts because I remember years ago when I got off the school board, I went back to school at night in all sorts of uh, digital media and computer classes. And there was one in Watsonville that started out with 25 students and ended up with three. Wow. And these were 18, 19, 20-year-olds. Hey, I, I took once a, a grammar class because, you know, when I first got here, I figured I needed some more, you know, basic English stuff. And so I took a grammar class with a great guy, Fred. His name was Fred. I forgot his last name. He was absolutely fascinating. And so we started indeed with a class of like 25, 30 people, most of them, you know, young people. In the end, we had like three people left. It was me, a Russian, and an auto mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And everybody else disappeared. And I thought it was so fascinating. It was really good. But anyway, it, it depends on the teacher, but also on the on the on the interest of and and I saw the value of it of learning all of this because I could use it. I don't know. Go ahead, Keith. Um, just gonna say if you notice um, the uh, the flying saucer was actually a pie. I thought that was. Oh, <laughs> I was looking to see what it was. That's pretty good. Keith, can you um, can you explain, Keith? I mean, so somebody did a soundtrack and all. You did all the animation. No, he oh, did, I did the soundtrack. soundtrack too. It is his voice. Didn't you hear his voice? No, yeah, no, 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 that's I'm him. Not, I thought it sounded like David, sort of. Yeah, I <laughs> thought it sounded like David too. Very deep, sonorous, rich yeah. voice. So, so you did all of it. What was it? You were just doing that to play. I thought you were saying that somebody had done something. No, the kids had written the, the story. The, the kids, kids wrote the story, the story as a group. Uh, and I it got was, it. It was a lot of fun. And as you, you could tell everywhere, I, I, you couldn't hear all of it, unfortunately, but everywhere a different kid added something you could tell. The first kid said, oh, it's in an enchanted forest. And the second kid said, filled with evil birds. <laughs> huh. I see. Got anyway, it. Anyway, um, so what, what we've, I've talked to Matilda. I had two teachers helping me teach this. I have a child development expert. I asked, they've all agreed that maybe we'll try a one-shot class and we'll provide the students with a lot of stuff to start with. So they'll need to come in with an idea for a story and then they'll just use as much canned stuff as we have. We won't, in this class, we allowed them to bring in props and people and I would, I would rig the people for them and rig the animals for them. We, we don't have time to do that in one session. So that's what we're gonna try next, probably in January. And I know I should get permission of the education committee. I ran it by Becca, she thought it sounded okay, so. I still have Sounds the equipment. Um, okay, any other uh, discussion of Becca's report or questions? My, was, was, that the, was that the whole report or was there anything else? Okay. Uh, Quick question about the the lighter tripods. Um, that sounds great for the kids. My only concern is, you know, iPads are kind of big and it's like a big sale. Any concern about the stability of the lighter tripods or are you pretty confident that they will be adequate to keep our equipment safe? Yeah, they'll be good. I tested them. Uh, it, they are a lighter tripod. They're a tripod that I had um, for years for doing um, uh, voiceovers really but they are um i tested a number of them and i br i bought them a lot and i returned them <laughs> because a lot of the light ones had really skinny legs but what we ended up with was a kodak camera and it has a triangular leg that is big so uh, it's great it's very sturdy it's really easy to use 
it just has flippers and you go up and flippers and you go down. It's nothing tricky. And it does have, it does do some extra things, but the kids don't need to know about it. So yeah, I tested them. That was my, yeah, my fear too. The tripod, the iPads are heavy and then they have a big frame on them. So this is a sturdy, sturdy, small, lighter tripod. The legs are hollow, but they're big. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Any other comments, questions, discussion? All right, thanks, Becca. Um, now we have, uh, I'd like to, I'm, I don't know what the proper way to do, but I'd like to adjourn to a closed session so we can discuss some real estate negotiations. Yeah, I'll make a motion that we adjourn to closed session. All right, do I have a second? Second. Third, second. Um, all right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're, let's turn off. We are adjourning to a closed session at 611. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. Um, okay, so we are returning now to um, the open session of our regularly scheduled meeting. And we have decided to um, appoint an ad hoc committee of directors Mannheim, Gudger, and O'Driscoll to work with exec executive director Becca to um, negotiate on um, a lease of our facility, a new lease of our facility, and expanding the um, the space that uh, is available to us. I don't know a better way to put it. Sounds good. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah. Um, good. So we've already voted on it. it was uh, approved uh, unanimously. And that's it. And that's it. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, where's my agenda? There we go. Uh, and item 13, the education committee report and a copy, a written copy was included in your agenda. Anyone want to comment? Summarize your uh pretty quickly, but uh, it was an uh, interesting, exciting meeting, and we discussed all kinds of possibilities, but especially I think our main item was how we can bring more um, teaching or um, learning opportunities for our viewers as well as our participants around uh, such items as how do you tell a story to make a video from? Um, what is citizen journalism? Uh, how do you become digital citizens? Um, but mainly we focused really on, are there materials where we can uh, put up for the community to, to see on how to create a simple video, how to do it well, uh, how to tell a story? Um, those kind of opportunities and, and we thought of well are there existing things that we can license or get permission for for putting up on um, community tv uh, and really what i welcome any input from all of you uh, regarding how we can uh, have more of an impact in terms of of education around the things that we really love and that's media and how to make it happen across the ages. Um, we uh, <clears throat> oh, we talked about even an orientation video that's already been recorded that we might put up. Um, any, any kind of instructional materials, especially around um, everybody in the world is using their smartphones to, to make videos and so forth. And uh, much learning can happen regarding how to do it better how to make it um, more personal or uh, something that's important to families even. Um, so there was that. Um, there was discussion also uh, came up about uh, some preliminary, very preliminary investigations we were doing because the, the community, uh, the, uh, County Office of Education is interested in starting a drone program and do we want to even get involved with that in terms of providing equipment? And it's all very preliminary. And I've reached out to 
uh, Jason Borgen from the county just to get more details on what they have in mind. And that's just very preliminary kind of explorations. And, and you can read before <clears throat> if you have any questions why um, we're here to answer them. All right, thank you. Questions, comments? Did you? Uh, Joe. Did you say drone program? Yeah. Oh, yep. I think you might get some excitement then. Yeah. <laughs> Not military drones, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even. I, I see them flying all around our neighborhood, and some people are excited, others are mad, but there's a lot of interest. There is a lot of interest. Yeah, yeah I think so too. I, I did communicate with uh, the head of uh, West Valley College's drone program. And um, they, <clears throat> they are basically offering a program that licenses drone operators. Yeah. So you're, you're talking about professional operators who can do some pretty interesting things with drones that are equipped with LIDAR and are doing all sorts of things, especially for fire control and um, monitoring of uh, woodlands and, and so on. So. Um, Up at the U, there's a program, and Justin Cummings is involved with that, uh, our new supervisor. I don't know how that's going to change as he becomes supervisor, but he's been working on a program that um, does a lot of those, is involved in a lot of those similar sort of fields. I guess UCSC is offering a, a yeah. program that I wasn't familiar with. Yeah. And there is, I'm reaching out to the uh, a company in Capitola that uh, you can hire their services, their drone services. Oh, so uh, I look to get some information on them about, well, who do they hire for operators, and you know what what it, what are they what are they, what do the drones do, and um, so forth and so on. Great. I also Great. have a question about the insurance and. Um, <clears throat> I asked the West Valley director, you know, and he says, well, yeah, uh, that, that's a real concern, not only for what our students might crash into, but some of their drones they're using are expensive and what if they damage them? So there, there's a rider that they put on the West Valley's insurance to cover those expenses and so forth. So I would assume that if we got involved in any kind of way that we would want a similar rider um, to the County Office of Ed's insurance program. But this is all very preliminary. All right, good. Thanks for pursuing That's that. Exciting. Yeah. Um, all right, thank you, David. <clears throat> Any other comments, uh, questions? I'll, um, board chair report, I'll just um, like to welcome Tom Mannheim back to our board. Glad to have you with us again in your experience and um, background, and we're going to put you to work. Happy um, to be here. <laughs> and um, and the other people who have read up too, you know, thank you for uh, Keith and um, Elizabeth in absentia, but um, I did uh, talk with her and um, the folks who were, you know, on the committees and the officers and and everyone. Thank you for that. Um, I'll note that we will next meet in January. I'm going to go in as um, through the chair email and cancel the December meeting, which will show up as a calendar item with a Google link too, um, Matilda, but you can <laughs> ignore that. And um, I'll ignore it for sure. Thank you very much. I mean, um, Janice just, Janice, no, who was it? But Joe, Joe just helped me, but I am not going to do this Google me. And I'm sitting there like, okay, it's spinning and spinning and spinning. So I'm going to do what Joe said. All right. Thank you. Um, any um, board member staff requests for specific items on January's agenda? Any announcements? Keith, did you have something? You Another announcement or something? Nope. Okay. Um, Matilda, you're up. Item number seven. Okay, I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. And do we have a second? Uh, David, second? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thanks year. very much, nice everybody. Nice to see you all. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Good next year. Bye-bye. See you in a couple bye. months. All right, bye now.